The other big story we're tracking. Russia has announced that its troops will retreat from the Ukrainian city of Kherson, but Kyiv is not celebrating just yet. In a televised event, Russia's commander general said troops will withdraw from Kherson. This is yet another setback for Moscow as it continues to struggle in Ukraine. However, President Putin was not present at this event, raising a few eyebrows. Ukraine is worried that Russian forces are trying to lure its troops into costly urban combat. Uh, Ukraine authorities said they made uh, strategic decisions based on intelligence data, not staged TV statements. Here's Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky on Russia's announcement of withdrawal from Kherson. All right, take this forward. I'm joined by Sergei Dvorinov, President IDC Russia and Director WHD International Board, Bodan Nahailo, Chief Editor at Kiev Post with us, Ruslan Botnik, Director at the Ukrainian Institute of Politics with me as well. Bodan, if I can begin with you, uh, Ukraine is looking at this uh, Russian retreat from uh, Kherson very, very cautiously. Why is that? Uh, it's actually Kherson is the the way it's pronounced. Look, um, because it could be a trap to lure the Ukrainians into the city, and it could be urban fighting, but it could be the use of a tactical nuclear weapon, chemical weapons, etc. So the Ukrainians are very wary uh, because it's almost too good to be true for the Russians to announce publicly that they are withdrawing. On the other hand, the Russians are desperate to keep this corridor open from the Donbass, from Russia to Crimea. And so uh, it makes sense for them to retreat across the Dnipro River, uh, leaving Kherson, the city, in the hands of the Ukrainians eventually. So it's, it, it is a major uh, psychological victory for the Ukrainians and a message sent to the Russian population about the way it's going. But it doesn't mean that the war is by any means over. This is just one stage, and uh, the Ukrainians are very wary, not only because of the complications of taking Kherson itself, but the fact that these troops that are being deployed in that area will now be moved to other sectors uh, of the uh, front and will put pressure on, on Ukrainian troops elsewhere. Right. Uh, Ruslan, if I, if I can put that question to you as well, do you think this is Russian strategy to regroup and uh, maybe launch attacks from other parts? Uh, of course, we can say so, but I think the uh, Russian retreat is the main reason of Russian retreat because of doing of Ukrainian armed forces, because Ukrainian armed forces destroyed and damaged uh, almost all key bridges across the Dnieper River to its right bank uh, and uh, uh, I, Russian uh, Russian troops in the right bank of Dnieper. It was uh, not not less than thirty thousand of Russian troops was without of uh, equipment, ammunition, food, and moreover, at any moment, armed forces of Ukraine could go on decisive uh, offensive and completely defeat that group of Russian troops, uh, which were pressed uh, to the river of Dnieper. And it should be a great defeat and absolutely a catastrophe for Russian army. So I think the first, the first reason is to, to gather, to serve this part of Russian troops. And uh, uh, of course, Russia understands that uh, there is no chance to, uh, to use this right bank uh, platform uh, to, to go to offensive to Nikolai and Odessa for nowadays. Right. Uh, uh, Sergei Dvorinov, if I, if I could ask you about possible talks between Ukraine and Russia, do you think uh, there could be some negotiations on the way ahead in the days to come? Uh, Sergei, if you can hear me. Yes, uh, first the most of civilian uh, population of Kherson was evacuated. And uh, yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. Yes, definitely. Can you hear me right now? Can you hear me? Yes. Hello? Yes, can you hear me? Ahead. Yes. If you yes, can hear we me, can hear you, uh, sir. I, I, I can continue. Yes, yes, yes. 
the most of civilian population of Kherson was evacuated. And uh, Russian generals, uh, they did this decision uh, to save the uh, soldiers. Uh, that's why the decision is not, uh, will influence the main strategy of uh, Russian national leader Vladimir Putin. And uh, regarding your questions of negotiation between uh, Russia and, and Ukraine, we can uh, tell that uh, our position is uh, always open to dialogue because we are not under the pressure of Western countries. We actually want only safe population, Russian-speaking population of Eastern part of Ukraine. That was main and only one reason why that uh, special military operation was started. That's why right now we can see that uh, Vladimir Putin is very open. He will be not participate in J20, but he will send uh, our Minister of External Affairs, uh, Mr. Sergei Lavrov. And uh, I can see that there's a big hope uh, right now to start uh, of negotiation and dialogue uh, with Ukraine with the support of global peacemaker India, because India can be mediator and can help uh, to the global society uh, stop the war. That is my opinion. All right. All right. Uh, Sergei Dvorinov, uh, Bodan Nahailo, Russian Botnik, uh, thank you very much for joining us here on News Center. We've run out of time, but this is a story we'll continue to watch very, very closely. With that, it's a wrap on this edition of News Center. News continues on CNBC TV 18. Stay tuned.